one of the things you talk about is fat in the diet. Uh, it wasn't long ago we were supposed to avoid all fat in our diet in the 70s and 80s. Everything was low fat or no fat. What do we know now about consuming fats? Oh, fats are so important. We need them for our health. In fact, there's a lot of essential fatty acids that we, the body cannot make and we have to eat them. What most people don't realize are that fats need to be balanced. So you have to have equal amounts of saturated fats in the diet, equal amounts of omega-3s, and equal amounts of your omega-6s. Um, unfortunately, in today's diet, there's so much processed foods that they tend to be omega-6 heavy because these are the oils that come from seeds and vegetables, but they process them so much they take all of the nutritional qualities out of them. But the fact that they have longer shelf life, they put them in all the packaged foods. Plus the way that they raise our meats these days, grass-fed grass -fed raised meat tends to have more omega-3s than omega-6s where the ones that are in the feedlots get fed corn or soy and they tend to have more omega-6s than the omega-3s. But what you need to keep in mind is that you need a little, at least two tablespoons of all those three different types of fats every day in your diet. And they all need to be in equal balance. If not, that's when you get the inflammation in the body. When you talk about uh those vegetable oils and the corn oils, it, it, it makes me think of uh, a topic that we've talked to a lot of people about and that's genetically modified foods because a lot of those, especially corn and soy, things like that are, are genetically modified. Uh, it's a controversial topic. Is it, are, are, do we know that those products are bad for us? They tend to have less nutrients in them okay. because in gemet, gemet, excuse me, genetically engineered foods, they put things in it or make it less nutritious so the bugs won't eat them. Therefore, they tend to be less nutritious. But they are also organisms the body really doesn't know how to handle. They're injecting viruses and bacteria that are very foreign to the human body. And they find that they're wreaking havoc with today's health and they've never really been tested on people. They did some testing on animals, but the ones who did the testing and reported the test results were the companies selling them and not individuals or outside studies that are now being done today and finding out that these foods are not as nutritious and actually harmful for the body.